Today I am given mm. Is this guys listen I know you're watching this and you're like Is this an accidental upload? Cause why she looking like that? Listen, today we're gonna really have a candid moment. Let me pause the YouTube video I'm watching. I'm watching Monet and I love her videos. They're so good. They're so good. Hold on, let me just put the volume down. Today we're doing like, you know, as you can see, we're in the B-Day spirit. But today, guys, mm, I'm coming to you real live and true. I'm on four hours of sleep. I just came back from the gym. This is my gym attire that you see me wearing. Today we're going to do the usual. And I got a lot of face masks. Look. We got a lot. I just, I mean, I just grabbed them all out of my closet. And I'm whispering because I'm really tired, honestly. Like, today might be an ASMR. And I just insert a clip here of all the face masks I have in front of me. But we are going to be watching an episode of Zane Judas T. Episode and today I'm gonna do a little, you know, something a little different. I just wanna sit down, decompose, do some relaxation, and give relationship advice. I found some relationship stories. So if this is your first time here, I do. Um, this is my Reddit, like my advice series. Um, I do have an email where you can submit stories below. But for now, we use Reddit because submissions are a little bit on the lower side due to you know smaller channel, less less submissions. So help my video get some views get some people who want to submit advice to somebody you know i know a lot of the girlies on youtube do these series but i'm sorry for the low energy today i hope this face mask wakes me up that's all i have to say i hope this face mask wakes me up because i'm tired as fuck i'm so tired like you guys have no idea and i feel so weird being on camera with no makeup on like something about it is like and i'm you guys know um starting the last episode i tried with this backdrop and I think I need a, I don't know, I'm still figuring out, like, the lighting and the shadow behind me really aggravates me, because I just want a solid white background, and my camera last episode wasn't focusing on my face, and I have a feeling that it's not focusing on my face right now, I hope it is, it looks to me like it is, um, and I should keep my hands down, because it kept focusing on my hand, so, if this video is a mess, I'm trying my best, and, guys, I hope, hold on, Give me a sec, I just wanted to make sure this is recording an audio. Rookie mistake, I was. So I just had to start with a new one. Anyways, that face mask should be good, guys. We have Everyday Almond, Skin Strengthening Mask. Yeah, guys, can you see my skin? Like, I've been breaking out, and so I'm just not feeling it. Detoxifying mask, mmm. Brightening mask, uh, it ain't gonna get paler than this. Brightening <laughs> Soothing mask, mmm. This is a rice one, rejuvenating moisturizing cream mask. Okay, this is fun. So I'll put a picture of it on the screen. This is the SOS Save Our Skin. This is the SOS Save Our Skin Super Skin Power Restoring Mask with Royal Jelly. You guys know the deal. Yeah, my face is clean already. Apply the mask, leave it on your skin. Okay. Yeah, guys, I'm just going to peel this open and get started. But yeah, today we're going to read Reddit stories. Um, as always, I do fact check to make sure that these stories can be read on YouTube. Because if you guys don't know... Sorry, guys. Something about masks, like, with the jelly in it, it'd be like... Like... Okay, I thought this was going to be, like, a moment. But yeah, I'm going to be... Sorry, yes, I did double check because people don't know that on Reddit you can't just read whatever. A lot of um, communities on Reddit, <laughs> they don't want you to be acting up, like taking their stories without even. <laughs> I'm, I'm using my viewfinder. Oh my god. Oh god, this is so cold. What the hell? What was I thinking? <laughs> oh my god. Hello. I have such a little note that I just chilled. Did y'all see that? Yeah, oh, and if you're wondering, yeah, we're gonna do the whole episode like this. Like, what do you mean? Hey, yeah, guys, let's get into the episode. Yeah, um, some people don't know you can't just grab whatever story from Reddit, so you know what I'm saying? 
So I fact checked all of these, and this is really funny. This is really funny. If it, it's on YouTube, that means I really had to peer pressure myself to post this. But let's get started and read out their story. As you can see, these are going to be relationship related because I just, I love love. Like I said, I always in the back. And people be like, I love love. And I'm like, bitch, do you really? Do you really? Can y'all hear that? let's get started y'all we got what we got we have one two three i have four stories for y'all and the last one is current and valentine's day related just to get us in the mood for next week's episode which i think next week's episode will fall on valentine's day or the day after so period let's get started let's get started and i hope you're doing some self-care with me too because that was the point of me coming on camera bare face crusty not y'all was gonna let me just have my my no my nose part unflipped who else cannot stand this nose part like cover my whole nose please sorry guys i'm just trying to make sure i'm probably gonna be adjusting this thing the whole time because i'm talking all right anyways um oh like i was saying make sure to <laughs> make sure to watch the end of the video to subscribe and like and just give me a chance you know and if you liked it binge watch my other episodes and you know this is a weekly show but yeah guys it's an advice series and since i don't receive submissions right now i am just um doing reddit story sorry i'm just like i want to laugh so hard but i can't <laughs> get it together please like what am i doing all right because not me making myself annoyed all right let's get started y'all we wasted enough time so the first story today is my partner's girlfriend found me in his bed what's going on let's get into it i really don't know what to feel i'm obviously angry and sad but also relieved and amused to find out to find this out like this so last night i 23 year old girl staying at my boyfriend's house he's 24 we've been together for three years and plan on moving in together in january my boyfriend works early and i usually live leave his flat during the work day last night though i for some reason didn't sleep well so i woke up around 1 p.m i decided to stay over because it's only three more hours until he gets back to work i did the dishes i cleaned a little and then went back for a little nap I woke up to the door. I heard two people talking and laughing. My boyfriend and a woman. I heard my boyfriend enter the shower and the woman came into the bathroom, into the bedroom. I immediately got up. We stared at each other. I'd never seen her in my life. She said, we might want to leave quietly enough for my boyfriend not to hear the conversation. Wait. I quickly collected my things, put on my shoes and coat. My boyfriend exited the shower right then. I just walked past him and didn't say anything. Me and the woman got out of the door together, and he sh started shouting after us, but didn't chase us because he was butt naked. Turns out the woman thought my boyfriend was single, and they had a fling for three months. She apologized many times to me. Oh but I reassured her it was okay. I didn't think my boyfriend would be stupid to start a fling or bring her home before checking whether I'm still there or not. Apparently, he got a little too cocky and comfortable with my stupidity. I haven't responded to his calls or texts by now. I'm heartbroken and relieved about finding this out before moving in with him. Yeah, blessing in disguise. For update, she said we broke up. I read his text. First ones were trying to downplay and explain the situation then he moved on to apologizing his last text was him asking for his switch game back apparently <laughs> myself. oh my god what was i thinking with this mask on um i told him i returned the game but that relationship is over yeah, I blocked his number, period. So, if this is your first time watching, I usually read the comments to see what people gotta say. This happened to me back in my 20s. The other girl and I became really good friends for a very long time. The look of terror on his face. <laughs> Can I share a story with y'all, actually? There was one time, and he is not with us anymore, so all respects to him. But there was one time, my friend put me on with her friend. 
this guy and i was like period and he's definitely giving whore vibes anyway so um we just had a long text situation and basically i was like not you flirting texting with me while you got other girls on your mind like on twitter and stuff like don't be embarrassing me you know like are you single are you not you know what i'm saying because people claiming you online that's weird and he was like i'm good bro i'm good anyways eventually i become friends with this girl and i'm like did you used to talk to she's like i do right now and i was like i was like i do right now and then we, we did this whole corny ass link up sent him a photo and I know y'all are like, why are you saying this so nonchalantly? Because she ended up being weird anyways. But it's because of this face mask, number one. But number two, it was so stupid. Like, he really could not give a good bless of a fuck. He was just like, all right. He was like, I thought y'all ate that. Like, I think he was still trying to flirt with the both of us. Just giving, you know, immature teenager stories. You know how those go. This lady, I love how she really don't need help. She's like, I figured it out. Like, honestly. And I, I, after reading the title, I was like, wait, you know what I mean? The fact that they were together for three years and he thought he ate that. Like, seriously, he really did. Like, what do y'all think? Call me down the lower. He really thought he did when he ate that. <laughs> Has it been 15 minutes yet? Because I want to take this off. Because I, I didn't realize how expressive I was in my phone. Hold on, let's do a thumbnail. <laughs> yeah what would y'all do in this situation like i the audacity like give me my switch back okay bitch you can have it back like get out my face all right guys let's move on to the next one that was pretty straightforward you know i'm glad she dodged a bullet literally because yeah but story number two i found not safe for work pictures of my boyfriend's ex on his laptop Let me tell y'all something. When y'all are entering a freaking relationship, delete all the other shit that you have. Especially if you're going to be with this person for several years. Go in and delete it. Like, why are you being a weirdo? You really, there is no reason to be having old nudes, old texts about somebody you used to fuck with. Unless you're planning to go back. I mean, that's just the honest truth. Like, why is that? in your phone like if you're planning to go back then say it out and see if that person wants to still mess with you still because you know that they won't you know they'll be like okay do you just want to go back to them or what you know this this face man well, let's read what was in the laptop and was she snooping he or she says i was installing lightroom on my boyfriend's laptop with his permission he went to test out the new program and was looking for a random photo to test to make sure the program works correctly and ended up stumbling on a lot of pictures of his ex-girlfriend i'm not sure what to do say or feel right now i asked him if he was good with me installing the photo editing app and also asked if the laptop was in good condition i did not expect to see what i saw he does not know what i saw also at a mutual friend's wedding both ex and he were in the bridal party and i was a guest of the wedding he struggled that weekend with rekindled feelings for his ex and it was a rough time in our relationship for a while i'm not sure if that makes a difference at all but i'm having those feelings yeah it does make a difference girl Let, let's be for real let me say do you see how old the photos were i have a bunch of old photos of my girlfriends there is no way i'm going through thousands of photos throughout the years just to delete them i have excuses delete them i swear like if you broke up with somebody wouldn't you want the, the first thing for them to do is like can you delete those pictures please because that's not awkward but yeah somebody said hey i understand where you're coming from but i do think it's important to know that depending on where you live legally an ex-partner could consider this as malicious activity and see you period like yeah somebody said old or not it's disrespectful for him to keep those i would let him know what you found and if he is sorry he should be fine with deleting them he gets defensive he clearly still has an emotional attachment to those photos and her he should probably move on i mean yeah i agree let's take this off hold on Using. 
Can you hear? Ew. No, it's so quiet in my house, in my room. I'm gonna have somebody upstairs. And I'm like, oh, mad awkward. Yeah, this feels really nice. Mm. This one isn't tacky. I've done some that are like tacky. Comment down below if y'all hate or like face masks like that because I am not a fan. When they when it decides to do all that, I'm like, ew. But how we looking? Are we giving? Are we giving? Yeah, guys. Um, yeah, everybody, there's like people that are like, oh, I'm, I'm just too lazy to delete pictures versus other people are like, yeah, get rid of them. Obviously, not wishing that bad on my relationship, but if things were to go south, that's the first thing I'm doing. I'm not gonna keep them. Like, that's just weird. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, and if you end up back with this person, just get new photos. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do y'all think? <laughs> Yo, that shit just gross on my lips. It's like, that damn. Let's read the third story. <laughs> the third story is titled i've been having sex with a woman who has a seven-year boyfriend and i feel wrong not telling the guy as they get closer to their engagement oh well look at you having some heart having some class <laughs> bye bye 23 year old male college senior and there's a 22 year old woman that goes to my college she doesn't see me upon the conference with me her boyfriend lives about two hours away and it is on weekends that he's off. I've known from the beginning that she had a seven year boyfriend. I didn't think much of it because we vibe well and have very set. Wait, 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 wait. Her boyfriend. I'm gonna reread that. There's a 22 year old woman that goes to my college and lives in the same apartment complex as me that I've been having sex with the past three months. Her boyfriend lives about two hours away. They visit on weekends that he's off. I've known from the beginning that she has had a seven year boyfriend and didn't think much of it because we vibe well and have great sex. What? What do you think happens after people date for a long time? You fucking be for real. At first, I assumed that her boyfriend it was maybe ugly, lazy, or sexually untalented, but I was wrong as I learned more. You're a loser. What makes you think you're better? Her boyfriend is 25 years old, decent looking, about the same height as me, hardworking guy. He pays her rent, Cardinal gives her allowance. She doesn't work at all. He gives her plenty of time and attention. And she showed me their sex days. His eggplant is bigger than mine. According to her, she loves the conversation her and I have, and the sex is just 10 times better. She tells me often how she knows this isn't right, but she feels no guilt because she's in love with me. She also claims I'm the first person she's ever cheated with. Obviously, I don't believe much she says. If she lies to her boyfriend, she'll lie to me easily. It's that she says they're planning to get engaged soon. She'll never disclose his name or personal info to me, but I've obtained a lot of it from detective work. I have his name and phone number in my notes now, and I am torn whether I should save him from wasting more years or just leave her alone and let it be. I have plenty of evidence, including sex tape, screenshots of our messages, so it wouldn't be hard to get him to believe me. My question is, do you think I should go ahead and tell him everything or just let him waste his time marrying her? Why do you care now? I don't like this guy. Like, it's given, like, well, I'm better, so, like, what? I'm gonna know what you think, because I was not feeling him. I really was not feeling what he was saying. You would want to know before a lifelong commitment, wouldn't you? These are people commenting. I've known from the beginning that she has had a seven year boyfriend, but didn't think much of it. Yeah, someone said, You are both pieces of shit. Someone said, Thanks for sharing dick sizes. That was relevant. Oh, and I guess he deleted it, but at some point he mentioned different races. Okay. Alright, so. <sighs> I don't know what to even say. This is the first one that made me speechless because what? Yeah, someone said, what did I just read? Someone said, why don't y'all marry each other since you're both sick? <laughs> yeah, it, it was so many flip the flips in this one. Like, first of all, the luxury she has and her wanting the spoiled treatment. Like, wanting her cake and eating it too. Like, explain. Somebody explain to me. She's ridiculous. Like, Karma's gonna get her so bad. And then not only that... Yeah, and then she shows a video to the guy she's cheating with of, like, them having... I just want to, like, lay my head down after what I just read. Like, that was ridiculous. What do y'all think? What the hell? Someone said, get wrecked. 
yeah so basically honestly i think that karma is gonna get the both of y'all eventually i don't think that you're gonna save yourself from anything just because you're gonna snitch and say stop somebody from marrying a cheater it don't matter you still fucked with the cheater and what do you expect people do when they date for seven years did did she make you to make it seem like she was gonna leave him for you because it wasn't given that it was given i like you i like him and figure it out someone said you should tell him and then go fuck off because you're just as bad as she is i feel like no you're just a horrible person she's horrible you guys are both horrible and he's gonna find out anyway her man's gonna find out anyway like she is just treading on light water and it's gonna catch up to her anyways comment down below what y'all think about that because that disgusted me it really disgusted me but let's read that last comment of the day i hope y'all been hearing me because i've just been whispering into this mic but the last story of today an extra one just for you guys get us ready for valentine's day and i don't know if i'm coming back on camera looking like this because i am struggling i'm not it's not giving sister-in-law is hosting a dry valentine's day party people aren't happy off the bat i'm assuming dry valentine's day party means like no alcohol but let's read inspired by another post to share our family drama so i'm a former bartender by trade despite being in a different career now i've never lost the passion for mixing cocktails my sister-in-law loves hosting and decided to host a valentine's day party family invited since most of us are driving we have social host laws there she wants it to be a dry event she came to me and asked if i could come up serve them themed mocktails i said okay when my aunt's immediate family read the fine print about no alcohol being served a couple of them messaged us about messaged us about bringing their own booze we both told them no and explained our reasons now they're complaining all over our messages saying how boring the party's gonna be how we're just gonna be without any alcohol or whatever um eventually i had enough and i told them what is your obsession with getting wasted if you can't spend a few hours sober maybe stay home feels like i opened a can of worms i'm so tired of dry events being a social pass and then people were like can you give us the menu because we want to hear about all the mocktails okay so if you really think about it we used to party as kids without drinking like you guys we don't need to drink and the thing is too like don't just drink before you get there you know what i mean like i i think when you're not the host of a party and it's not your house you can't be saying nothing simple as is and we've been to plenty hall parties too where you can't even have drinks or anything there anyways we've been to parties in the hall where you can't even drink anyways like it is what it is you know what i'm saying so sometimes you gotta be mature eat an edible or something like you know what i mean like do you you don't have to like it's it is a fun thing to just hang out be a little trying to figure out somebody's in the someone's in the driveway with their bluetooth on and getting yelled at like turn that shit off i feel like yeah social drinking sometimes for parties and stuff i think it's just really to help with anxiety and to make people just be themselves for real and not sorry i'm looking at my tv and monet's doing her closet cleaning she's just so sweet and adorable and i can't stop looking but let me stop um i think people just do it to help with their anxiety and to have fun or do things that they normally wouldn't do but it's like events be like two to three hours and if so go to the event be supportive and then after just go out to a bar or something and do what you gotta do you know what i'm saying so let's see what the comments say someone said i think everyone's alcoholics all right or drink before or stay home someone said valentine's day party question mark i'd like to drink because water is boring to me at a party sometimes juice and soda is boring too i mean i get that someone said if i'm having a party with no drinks and they say that it's gonna be boring then i hope they don't show up because i don't want them around me that's true and some people don't know how to act around alcohol so there's that but and cozy's at home thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's episode and i'm just my computer's frozen right now but okay yeah so tell me what you guys think of today's episode tell me what you guys think of today's episode was it fun was it a change of pace was it cute what was it giving do you like the little hearts behind me i really hope this wasn't blurry and i hope that the camera is not making like my dark spots pop out like all i can see from right here is my big ass um 
the lack of sleep showing on my face and my frizzy ass bun like this is really what i look like most of the time anyways but um all that being said you've been watching and if you watched all the way did you like make sure to subscribe comment which one you liked which store made you like go you know what i'm saying a lot of these stories make me be like Thank you for watching. I have a bunch of other episodes too. Again, this is an advice series. If you want to submit to my series, the email's on the screen below. And don't be shy, girl. Boy, anybody watching. You can submit. The rules to submit to are in the playlist. And I have playlists of everything. So I do hair videos, advice videos, and a podcast. And they're all playlists on my channel. Like, it's all very organized. So if you want something to binge watch, they're all there okay but i'll see you guys in the next one next week